Back on our road trip in southern Wyoming, so we arrived here in Sweetwater County near Rock Springs. We actually did a wonderful tour through the wide open space on dirt roads watching great wildlife such as elk but also wild horses. And right next to me is actually Dave. Dave, you are such a true resident of Sweetwater County here in southern Wyoming. You are a true Wyoming knight, traveling, seeing the country, seeing what's really in here. So what is it really what, what interests people here coming to the south, southern Wyoming area? Well, I think it's the, uh, I mean, look behind us. Look at the appeal. I mean, skies go on forever. You've got the Kilpecker sand dunes, which is the largest migrating sand dunes in the world. You've got boar's tusk and an extinct volcano stem right down here. Um, we look off to the north, we see the winds. We look off to the west, we see the Wyoming range. Um, we see elk. I mean, how many elk did we see coming out here? And the wild horses and the antelope. Um, you know, really, I mean, this is a great treasure that we have as far as wide open spaces, um, you know, the access, the public land that you can, you can go on. I mean, we're going to make a 60 mile loop today. Yeah. Um, and all of this is available to anybody. Anybody can come here and do this. It's not that hard. Um, but the wildlife, I think, in the wide open spaces and the accessibility are really the cool things about Wyoming in general, but particularly in Sweetwater County. So today what was really interesting for me, um, I was actually traveling on Highway 191 South um, and I didn't go very far off, off the ro off road. I mean, we've just really stopped at the highway and we saw the wild horses. Um, what can you say about the wild horses here in this area and a little bit about how they're managed, what you can see, how is everything put together? And are there any adoption programs, anything? Yeah, the Wild Horse Program here, I mean, it's the same everywhere. It's a 1972, the Wild Horse and Burrow Act was passed. The um, responsibility of managing the wild horses in this area is, uh, falls to the BLM. Mm -hmm. um, they do a very good job with it. We have a uh, holding facility in Rock Springs. If you can't get out in the desert, we have an overlook there. You can go and take a look at the wild horses, see what they, you know, and get a little history on them. We have a wild horse loop that'll take mm -hmm. you from 191 into the town of Green River. Um, very easy, very easy to access, um, interpretation all along the way. Um, my recommendation to people is, especially as you're traveling through, is check with the local visitor centers, uh, find out where the horses are, um, also what are the conditions of the road. And the other thing is, is that if you're, you are traveling, the mornings and the nights are really the best time to see horses, wildlife, anything like that. Um, this is a desert, summertime it gets warm, the critters go back into the canyons, they go to the water holes. Um, the winter time they move from their summer range to their winter range. You need to know where those are. So my advice is really either talk to the BLM, talk to the visitor centers. Mm -hmm. They can give you a lot of advice on where your best opportunity is to see not only the wild horses, but all the wildlife that we have in southwest Wyoming. Yeah, great. So and earlier we also talked a little bit about the scenic drives and the scenery <laughs> here. Um, what can you tell us about the Highway 191 that goes to Sweetwater County? Hi Highway 191 is pretty unique. Um, it kind of dissects the country, I mean north to south. Mm -hmm. um, it runs all the way actually from Canada, through Glacier, down to Yellowstone, through Yellowstone, through Grand Teton National Park, down to here, through Flaming Gorge, from Flaming Gorge, down to uh, uh, the Grand Canyon, the north rim mm -hmm. of the Grand Canyon. And on its way it goes through the national parks through southern Utah. It's a great road, it's a great drive to cover the national parks because you can hit a bunch of them along that route. Um, and you're going to go from desert country to alpine country as you traverse that entire route. And it does go all the way down to the Mexican border. So I mean, it's just a it's a great way to see the West if you really want to see what the West is like and the diversity of the ecosystems, the diversity of wildlife. That road is really can take you from the desert Southwest all the way up to through Montana to Canada. Mm -hmm. Well, Dave, thank you so much for all your in, in, input about what a great Wyoming road trip is all about and visiting Yellowstone and visit, visiting the national parks. Mm -hmm.